Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechGuru. In this video, I'm going to uh, compare the loudspeaker comparison between all of these three smartphones which I've got right now. Starting with the first phone which is a Poco X3 Pro device and second phone is a Realme X1 Max and third is a Poco F3 GT device. All these three smartphones, they do have really very good loudspeaker output. Yeah, very very good friends. But let's see in this video, which phone actually makes a lot of sense in terms of the loudspeaker and which phone doesn't have back panel vibration because this is the most interesting part because once after you buy the device and definitely you'll be feeling that kind of back panel vibration when you're trying to play it higher volume you'll feel a lot of irritating as well that's the reason i'm trying to mention clearly even each and every small detail and let's check which phone has got bottom speaker more volume and which phone has got top speaker more volume because both all the three smartphones they do have the two speakers so bottom and the top one so we should see which phone is really balanced between the bottom and the top one that's what i'm going to exactly explore in this video so first let's take a look at the default settings what i'm trying to use between all of these three smartphones because that also plays a major role in terms of the volume output what we can actually expect between all of these three smartphones and first let's go to the sound and the vibration profile in all the phones and here comes dolby atmos which is present in the realme x and max and sound effects and in the poco f3 gt let's go to the sound effects here also poco f3 gt we do have the dolby atmos so these two phones they do have the dolby atmos and i'm selecting the preset values to the music as you can clearly see music is selected as a preset value and here also music is selected as a preset value you can clearly see friends so in the poco x3 pro let's check what is happening with the poco x3 pro which has got the just only preset normal fx only but slightly decrease the brightness yeah so which has got the preset value also as a music enabled you can clearly see here so all the three smartphones are completely set to the preset values as a music enabled now let's start playing the audio file which i used to play in regularly in all the phones so let's check which phone has got what type of volume output so let's play the audio file one by one starting from the first phone which is the poco x3 Pro device. So here is the Poco X3 Pro which I will try to place exactly in the right, right side of the phone and let me try to start playing the audio. So now we are getting up to 90 decibels in the POCO X3 Pro device. So that's a really good score. Whatever we see the, if it is kind of close to above 85 and 90 decibels, that's a fantastic score in terms of the volume output. Now let's take a look at the Realme X and Max, how the Realme X and Max is performing in terms of the volume output. That's what I'm going to check right now. So the same distance I'm trying to maintain and let me try to start playing the audio starting from the beginning, the full volume I'm trying to increase. So we're getting kind of close to 88 and 90 decibels as well even the Realme X and Max can get that kind of really good score, not bad. So even though the phone is really small but still it's really powerful in terms of the loudspeaker. So not bad but let's take a look at the POCO F3 GT how much the POCO F3 GT is showing us the output in the volume.
not bad friends even the poco f3 gt also was able to give the same kind of output but I'll try to listen the audio one by one i'll try to play the audio file one by one starting from the poco x3 pro device Now let's take a look at the individual speakers which phone speaker is really powerful in the under the bottom speaker We are getting close to 107 decibels as well, 106 and 107 in the POCO X3 Pro, not bad in the Realme X1 Max. Even the Realme X and Max can get close to 107 and 106 decibels as well. That's fantastic thing with the Realme X and Max as well. Not an issue. Next thing regarding the POCO F3 GT. So no issues with the bottom speaker in the POCO F3 GT as well. Now let's take a look at the top speaker. I'll, I need to close the bottom speaker and only play the audio from the top speaker. Let's see which phone will be having the top speaker very good volume. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate right now. There's a grills over here. If you want, you can use those. But even if you block the grills, you can actually hear the sound coming because sound is actually coming from the earpiece on the top. Not, by, not bad friends, it was able to maintain exactly kind of close to 100 decibels above 100. Not an issue, let's check in the real mix and max. Even the real mix and max is crossing above 100 decibels, not an issue, finally is the POCO X3 Pro. So 102 decibels. So overall, in terms of the loudspeaker volume, all the three phones are kind of slightly kind of close to equal. But in terms of the vibrations, these two phones they do have the back panel vibration in the Poco X3 Pro and the Realme X1 Max on this back side. You can actually feel the vibrations when you're trying to play in high volume. Yes. These two areas they do have a lot of vibrations, whereas the Realme X1 Max also has got the vibrations in this segment. But the Poco F3 GT. Surprisingly, it doesn't have any kind of vibrations. Even if you play it full volume, not even single vibration is there in the back side. You cannot even feel any vibrations. So this event is a quick comparison between all of these three smartphones. I hope you understand what is happening with the loudspeaker and uh, intensity and vibration as well, comparing between all of these three smartphones. And see in the next video, I will have more updates. In case if you want me to do any other comparisons, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely I'll try to do those kind of comparisons as soon as possible. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.